morning and welcome to the vlog. We got a special video. I'm gonna make sure this lens is clean. It's gonna be a video going over exactly what workout I would do if I had only 20 minutes to work out. We're gonna be looking at just cardio, just weightlifting, and then a hybrid or a functional workout of both of those things. So we're here outside. Yes, it's the cardio portion. So each one of these workouts is gonna be 20 minutes. I'm gonna do each one as hard as I can for that 20 minutes. Obviously, you push yourself in 20 minutes if you're running, if you're weightlifting, or if you're doing a functional workout, you're always gonna push yourself. That's gonna be a constant. And the way we're gonna be measuring all of this is through my WHOOP. Now, WHOOP, what it does is pretty much measures heart rate variability. There's a big algorithm that WHOOP's developed that basically allows you to, once you have a baseline, see when you're in shape and increase that heart rate variability. Heart rate va variability is also affected by genetics, by sleep, by diet, by how much stimulant you've had, how much stress is in your life, just all of that go into that. Now, heart rate variability is different than resting heart rate. The more in shape you are, the better resting heart rate you have. So it kind of takes everything into consideration. The way we're gonna be measuring everything though is by strain. So the WHOOP has a function in it. When I start working out, I pick the different exercise I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be picking cardio for this one. I'm gonna be picking functional or I'm gonna be picking weightlifting. They have all of those settings. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm form that exercise for 20 minutes. So it's gonna be really unique to see, okay, is it just about cardio? Is it also more of you know how hard I'm working out or perceived exertion? And then we're gonna take a look at exactly what it means, like which one's gonna be best for you. And I kind of have my hypothesis that the most bang for your buck is going to be the functional where you have a little bit of cardio and a little bit of resistance training. It's gonna be longer reps, but it's nice and early. Sometimes uh, the best way to do these types of things is just to do a little personal test. Now obviously we're not performing these with rigorous standards, so it's basically gonna be my results and I'm gonna be talking about what I feel like is gonna be best under different circumstances. You know, what your goals are in your life, where you're at in your life, uh, maybe again, what you're kind of used to doing versus if you have 20 minutes switching it up and doing something different. So we'll go over all of that at the end of the video. Right now, I'm gonna stretch, I'm gonna warm up, woke up at the butt crack of dawn to go on a 20 minute run in a beautiful, beautiful setting. I have such a perfect runner body. The most perfect runner body ever. Look at my freaking ham, my hamstrings, man. I got, I got a lot of hamstring here. I'm definitely not running with my shirt on either. It's like 78 degrees out here already. Freaking 7.15 in the morning, almost already 80 degrees. Yesterday was 108. Shirt's coming off, man. If you're, if you're, if you're a runner, man, you don't run with a shirt on. Right? I don't know if that's true or not. All right, ready for this? Running. Three, two, start activity. Damn shoe kept on coming untied. Oh, I wasn't ready. Uh, I wasn't ready for it to be this hot. The whoop is now calculating my score. All right, here we go. 20 minutes, six seconds. My strain was an 8.5, and my calories were 253. I think that's about exactly the same as my favorite buttercream donut. And then average heart rate 149. Max heart rate, 164. Pulled hamstring, no, I'm just kidding. It's been a while since I've done like just running. This is good, because it gives us the first bit of data for the day. We got two more workouts coming up. This was our cardio workout. The pace wasn't all that fast, like an 8.30 pace. Coming down that hill though, I was moving. That is workout one in the books. I'm gonna get a coffee, I haven't even had a coffee yet. You guys feel bad for me. I'll meet you guys at the gym where we will film our bodybuilding workout.
What's good? In good old fitness culture now, got the, the jog. I was gonna call it a run, but we can't even call it a, a real run. Got the jog out of the way, and uh, I'm a little bit tender in the legs now, so what we're gonna be doing is actually a leg workout. A lot of legs today, and I kind of scheduled this all so it would correlate for a leg day, but we're in the gym, and we're now gonna be testing the running versus a typical bodybuilding workout. And when I say typical, maybe it's atypical because it's more of a volume training. So what I'm gonna be doing today is 10 sets of 10 superset. So 10 sets of 10 on a RDL, four count eccentric, and then straight into a dumbbell walking lunge, 10 each leg, and then 60 seconds. So more of like a German volume conditioning style training. So German volume is typically 90 seconds. We're gonna shorten that down a little bit. And this really going to resemble more of a old school bodybuilder. If I was training with Charles Glass, we did some of this. You now, if you look at Arnold, when he was getting ready for a show, a lot of training like this. Not a ton of rest time, high volume, moderate amount of reps. And so it's gonna be a lot of muscular endurance, not as much cardio, obviously, as the running, but definitely more strength. So this is going to be interesting because besides just the cardio factor, we're also gonna introduce that, that muscular endurance. So going to be an ass kicker. I'm glad we're only doing 20 minutes of each and not like 30 or 40 minutes. So we're gonna put 20 minutes on the clock after I'm done stretching, done warming up on the foam roller here. Um, I'm gonna do a couple sets to warm up and then we're gonna jump right into it. Do you, do you realize you have the best life? He literally has the best life. A, he's jacked, doesn't, doesn't have to lift. He's just jacked. Sleeps like 80% of the day. Well, no, I would say like 60% of the day comes to work with dad, has cushioned everything, cushioned car seats, cushioned beds at home, and you still look like your world is ending. It's not that bad. 2020 won't last forever, okay? Damn this, Whew. legs are very gone. Whew. Let's go look at the data. My strain was 4.9. Calories I burned in that 20 minutes, 94 calories. Average heart rate, 108. That seems a little bit suspect. And then max heart rate, 137. <sighs> Got the stats for this one. One more activity left and then we'll compare them all. Gonna go eat, gonna find some grub because we're burning a lot of calories today. It's gonna be 60, you know, at the end of the day, it's gonna be a 60 minute workout that's all all very intense. So, gonna get a nice feed, and then I'm gonna go home, try to do some active recovery stuff, or try to do some mobility stuff, get some electrotherapy on my back, try to help that out for this last workout, because my back's already blown up, and this last workout definitely isn't gonna help that. So, try to get the recovery, get some Hypervolt on there, as well as some red dot therapy. This is my office right now. Just a mess. We got jewelry, water bottles, hats. That's gonna be my post-workout protein right there. Definitely more of an almond milk guy. Ah. But even with water, that passes the test. Wasn't quite a full scoop, so I'm not exactly sure how many grams of protein, but I'm not counting macros right now. I will probably start. It's not that I'm not counting macros. I pretty much know what I'm eating, like the calories on it. I've eaten it so many things, breakfast every day, same thing. Uh, oats, banana, one whole egg, egg whites. Um, lunch tends to vary a little bit, but I know it's generally between 50 and 60 grams carbs, 45 protein to 55 protein. Today, a little be a little bit higher because I'm getting this and a little teriyaki bowl in about 35 minutes. Oh, this is gonna taste very, very good. At home, it's about 3.15, got a shower, get a bust out, some recovery tools, and then head back in like two plus hours. 
for another workout. Today, I'm, I'm expecting probably right around 300 to 350 calories burned during the workout. And then obviously, you have post-oxidative consumption in these style. In any kind of workout, you're gonna have some of that, but with a HIIT workout, because a lot of these are higher intensity stuff, that post-oxidative consumption win, basically what that's talking about is when, after you stop working out, your body is catching up. Mitochondria are taking things to the cell, there's gonna be a depletion in there, so all of that, translates into burning more calories. That is why we just don't, you know, look at walking on a treadmill the same as high intensity. That's my lunch for right now. Life's pretty busy these days. I feel like uh, a lot of behind the scenes stuff that people don't typically see that I probably want to do a better job of showing more on YouTube. Just been feeling out of sorts. I don't know. I think getting back to vlogging like this, where it's just me and you guys, talking with my mouth open, allows me to do that. So the training right now, having a gym is a lot of work. It's great, but it's a lot of work. So my training right now, I'm trying to really have that take precedence over going to the gym and like being Expo Steve, going in there and, and having, you know, headphones on, determined to, to get through what I need to get through in a set period of time. It's easy to go in there and just BS for 60 to 90 minutes. It's another thing to go in there, head in, say, hey, I got an hour in here. I'm gonna do a ton, tons and tons of work, which is why kind of we're doing this video. Some people don't have an hour. Some people have 20, 30 minutes. So what kind of workout should you do? It's gonna vary depending upon your goals, but if you want the best bang for your buck, that's what we're trying to figure out. Oh, planning on going to Lake Powell in like two weeks. So trying to get tons of content stacked up for that. Um, supplement launch is coming up real soon. Gotta pick out names for flavoring today. We have like 10 flavors of each thing, but we just wanna pick, pick out what we wanna launch with. So like our, our two or three best for each product, and then make sure we're all dialed in with everything in the launch. COVID's really messed that up. All right, little time at home to freshen up, and now we're heading back with performance recovery and pain relief. Power Dot, not sponsored by them. And then also my Hypervolt foam roller. So, so this is gonna be more of a functional style workout, so I need to have shoes that'll work for that. Because the shoes I wore earlier today, definitely not great for functional stuff like we're gonna be doing. Perfect, the perfect functional pair of shoes. All right, so I got this a while ago and I thought I would use it all the time and I haven't yet, so. All right, here we go. I didn't read the instructions. I thought they'd be a little bit easier to figure out. We're just going to charge these bad boys up. I'm gonna read the instructions, then I'm gonna throw them on my lower back before I do this little functional Metcon, we're calling it. I didn't know you are feeding yourself. No, I know you didn't. No, no. You just came in talking, <laughs> talking about cashews and skinny guy food. Here we go. We're going to try this out. Okay, there we go. go. It says increase intensities until you're basically feeling your... Whoa. Oh, shnikes. That hurts. 17.3. Not to 50. What's that from? Come on, you should know that. Not to 50. <laughs> I'm headed down there, I'm gonna warm up, and we got this 20 minute functional program. It's actually from uh, our summer sizzle. One, of, It's one of the workouts that people have actually been doing lately, and they've been letting us know it's pretty killer. So I have yet to do it because I've been anti-cardio, but that's obviously changing fast. These feel heavy right now, and they should not feel heavy. So first thing we got, thrusters. It's a squat to a press, and again, this is on our sizzle program. So a lot of our conditioning is Metcon style, functional stuff. So you're gonna be moving, doing high intensity sprints or rows or bike with some kind of weightlifting component of them. Obviously crazy muscular endurance, 20 reps, tons of cardio in this as well. So 20 thrusters and then 20 devil's press. Devil's press is here, push up, press it up. And then finishing up with 400 meters on the row. So you guys can also get your whoop. Use Steve Cook code when you go and check it out. That'll save you some money.
not a uh, an easy workout. You can see why functional workouts, a lot of people talk crap about them. It's because they're hard. Now, some of the programming can be a little bit screwy. A good programmer cares about working on strength too because the stronger you are, the more weight you're gonna be able to lift quicker. Functional fitness, 8.1 on my strain level. In that 20 minutes, I burned 220 calories. Average heart rate, 140. Max heart rate, 173. Interesting findings here. Not too far off from what I thought. All right, Hippie Steve here. First thing I wanna say with all of this is that these are all good workouts. These are all solid workouts. We really are, are getting into this because if it's like if you only had 20 minutes, what should you do? Now, typically when I get asked about workouts, it's what, what do I do to lose body fat and gain muscle? So we're gonna be looking at these workouts from that standpoint and then just an overall caloric burn and then how taxing is it on your body? Those kind of four things and we're gonna decide hopefully which one's the best. So the first thing we did, the running. Now, running was predicted to be the highest strain score and it was at an 8.5. That means you are working for that 20 minutes. We can see my average heart rate is the highest out of all of them as well at 149. So on a run, you're going out there and you're pushing it. Like I, I am not in, in phenomenal running shape. I'm not even in good running shape. So me running that eight and a half minute mile for 2.4, 2.5 miles or whatever, it really, it was taxing for me. Um, 253 calories in that time, that's pretty good. So if you're looking to just burn a bunch of calories, now running where it's not great is going to be building muscle. So running is gonna be great for your cardiovascular system, great for burning calories. Mentally for me, it's a little bit more challenging in terms of checking out, like just going for a run and mentally just blocking out everything. There's not a lot of, you know, stimulus. There's not a lot of change. And I like workouts where I'm doing different things, where I'm feeling kind of like, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. But I will say the nice thing about running is that you can pretty much do it anywhere. You don't need equipment, you just go out and run. So I think running is a very good option if you are looking just to burn calories. It's the best option actually out of all three that we looked at. Next up, we're gonna be looking at the bodybuilding, the German volume training basically. And again, the German volume training, we've done that training split, that program in our programs at Fitness Culture. So I would say it's a higher intense style of lifting. If you're somebody who's looking to add muscle, but um, you're not too worried about if you're putting on body fat. This style of bodybuilding training, when we're talking about just the, in the scope of bodybuilding training, is gonna be better than, hey, you know, going for doubles and singles. That's more for strength. So again, this is gonna be a hypertrophy rep range that's going to keep you in fairly good cardiovascular shape. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say good, I would say fairly good. Again, if your main goal is more towards muscle mass, this style of bodybuilding would be the one for you. I'm looking at the last thing we did, it was kind of a hybrid. So with functional fitness, Metcons, um, whatever it is that you wanna call them, we're getting in a lot of work. The difference is in the bodybuilding, we're really focusing on the form, making sure things we're working each specific muscle. We're trying to fill it in our hamstrings on the straight leg deadlift, on the Romanian deadlift. We're using our quads. You know, in this, it's more about, okay, get through this as fast as I can. I did it uh, basically an AMRAP, a 20 minute AMRAP. A good way to get in a full body workout in a relatively short period of time while still working your cardiovascular system. So everything we did was 12 reps. And it's basically go as hard as you can for as long as you can, catch a breather, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. And for that, it was kind of surprising. So our strain um, on, on the running was 8.5, bodybuilding it was 4.9, the functional fitness strain 8.1, so really pretty high. Uh, it also is interesting, this was our max heart rate. Now I'm sure if I would have sprinted as hard as I could the last little bit on that run, I could have got my max heart rate up this high. But the average heart rate was 140. I believe my average heart rate for the run was at 149, but 140 for just doing weights and, and rowing, rowing was almost my rest period on this. Like rowing was definitely, the cardio piece was definitely easier than the other two exercises. And then 219 calories burned. So not quite as many calories burned, but the thing that I love about this functional fitness is that it really is great for you know that circuit training when you want to do cardio, but you wanna work on some muscular endurance. So the idea here is we're getting the most bang for our buck. And this is what I would pick if I was, if I just had 20 minutes a day to train, 
this is how I would train. Yes, I'm not gonna get super muscular on this, but I'm also not gonna gain a ton of weight if my diet's in check. The reason why I just don't do one, I do them all. And that's kind of the caveat of this video. That's kind of the aha moment is you need to be doing all of these. Um, there's days that I can't do hit after hit, high intensity session after high intensity session. So, you know, I, I might back it off and do a low state steady cardio. And that could be just a jog where I keep my heart rate at like 130, 430 minutes. But again, we're just looking at if I could just do one workout for 20 minutes, what am I gonna do? What is your goal? Do you wanna be a better runner? If that's the case, then run. If you wanna be bigger, then German volume training. If you wanna be stronger, you gotta train like a power lifter. So I think that, you know, there are ways you can get the best training and get a little bit of both if that's what you're into, or if you just have 20 minutes to do a workout, I definitely recommend high intensity functional training, HIFT. If you haven't heard of it, now you have. You can find all of these workouts. Every single workout that we, we did today is part of a workout in our fitness culture app. So the German volume training, we have it on different programs, the lean or the swole. Functional training came from our summer sizzle as a, is our, our, our pretty much our conditioning at the end of it. You can imagine doing a full workout and then having to do that afterwards. So thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the results here. I don't think they're really anything too surprising. Hopefully you guys like this video. Make sure to subscribe below, give it a thumbs up, and let me know what you guys wanna see me do next time.